Mr. Tambourine Man, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to play along to the Birds version. The Bob Dylan version is basically the same but with a capo at the third fret so you can use this tutorial for that one as well. We're broadly going for a three chord arrangement with a few embellishments like sus twos and sus fours. However, what we're going to have in this video is loads of chords on screen showing you the chord that you should be playing now and next, then a full play along which you can join in with with those prompts on screen as well. This is something I've done for a ton of play along jam tracks in my beginners course the link to that will be at the top of the description if you like this kind of thing with those kind of prompts on screen if that really helps you check out my fully revamped beginners course with 21 downloadable and play along tracks they should really help you but let's get on with this tutorial so we're in standard tuning and the three chords we need to be able to play along to this song are D major G major and A major which I suggest we play like that, though we can play A major like this. I like to go for this G major because we can keep the third finger down between G and D major, which is very handy for some of these chord changes. No capo for the Birds version, but capo third fret for the Bob Dylan version. And the strumming pattern I'm recommending here is just down, down, up, up, down, up. So kind of the most common chord progression ever, but that last up, the biggest tip I want to give you here is to lift off of the chord that you're on. When we need to make a chord change, we need to lift off on that last up strum and be down by beat one. So before we go for the chord progression fully, let me just show you this. So we're going to go uh, for the chorus, for example, down, down, up, up, down, up, and lift off kind of. You can lift off fully on that last one. And in context, If that's something you haven't covered yet, that's what you need to be able to play this song and others like it. Lifting off on the four and, and being down on beat one, keeping this strumming hand moving. That's gonna be the thing that should enable you to play this song, along with a couple of other tips. So let's have a look at the uh, chorus first of all, nice and simple, G major. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I'm not sleepy and there ain't no place I'm going to. So again, sometimes playing like this, sometimes playing like this. Generally a bar of each chord, generally going in the order G, A, and D. So generally going kind of visually around in this order. We'll have the chords on screen to kind of jam along to this bit. So we're gonna play along to this chorus. Um, we're gonna do this quite slow at 90 BPM, one strum through each chord first of all, and we're gonna do this twice so you can get the hang of it. So ready from the G chord, and we're gonna go in one, two, three, single strums. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. I am not sleepy, and there ain't no place I'm going to. We hang on that A chord there, and then it's all the same again. So, hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me. In the jingle jangle morning, I'll come following you. And then we have some sus twos and sus fours, which I'll talk you through. But if you can do that, if you can just strum, even if you have to rewind and have a couple of goes, if you can do that, you can do this song. This is at a level that you can go for. We're gonna learn that intro at the end of this video as well, so don't worry about that. But uh, let's try and do that with a strumming pattern now. So down, down, up, up, down, up. A Little bit slower than the original tempo, but feel free to go as that as well. Remember when to change chord, when to lift off. One, two, and, and four, and. I would encourage lifting off every finger apart from any that you can stay down on like the anchor finger we go for here. So again, nice and slow. Let's actually slow it down even more. Let's go for 80 BPM here. We've got a little headphone in so I can keep us to a certain BPM, which I think helps the chords on screen too. But let's start from that G chord and ready. So as an example, quickly. Down, down, up, up, down, up.
like this, okay? And if these chords on screen are really helping you, let me know in the comments below which other songs you think this might really help uh, you with as well, whether it's a refilm of one I've done before or whether it's one totally new. But this is a perfect one where I think it is really needed and will really help a lot of people. So let's have a go at this with this strumming pattern. Remember, you can always just strum on the beat if this doesn't work. We've done that loads of times in my tutorials, in my beginner's course. That's what we train you to do first. But let's go for broke with this one because we've got lots to get through. So ready? In. One, two, three, and down, down, up. D, G, and we hang on the A, and then we're back to the G and we do all of that again. Hey, Mr. Tambourine, down, up, lift, down, down, up, down, up, lift, down. This time finishing on the D and hang on the D. We stay there for two bars. If you can do that, again, we can look to add a little bit more to it and we can add the sus twos. So we've got a, a A major, so sus twos and sus fours. A major to A sus four. At the end of that first repetition, and then the D chord, you can have some fun on the D chord. It's a simple way, just one bar of each. So down, down, up, up, down to D sus4. But when we really get going with this one, you can do kind of, I think in the original recording, it's kind of. Kind of like that. You choose the level you want to go to this in, in detail, but a slow playthrough, we can give you the options. So let's go for the slow playthrough of the chorus one more time, and then we're on to a verse, and then we've got just got the lead line, and then that's it. So from the G chord, in one, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Play a song for me. I'm not sleepy, and there ain't no... Here we go with the embellishment of an Asus 4. Chorus again. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, play a song for me in the jingle jam. Hang on that D chord as the simple way of doing it, just a bar of D and then a bar of the D sus4, or I'll come following Just on that D that was, three, four. Kind of moves to and two, and three. so on the ands. Here are those ands are really loud. That's kind of the way. And then from there, we want to follow a chord sheet, which again is, is linked to in the uh, description of this video, but also just follow the chords on screen and we should be able to get through it. Again, same kind of vibe. It's like, it's like the chorus, but longer on the D to G. It repeats D to G lots. It does a very similar thing to the chorus. All of the chords on screen, we should be fine with this one. So let's have a go from the G. Ready? Verse in one, two, three, four. Take me for a trip upon your magic swirling ship. All my senses have been stripped. And my hands can't be too grip And my toes too numb to step Wait only for my boot heels to be wandering To ace the spore again 
to go anywhere I'm ready for to fade Into my own parade Cast your dancing spell my way I'm hanging in the jeep to go under it To Aces 4 again So lots happening there. Also, following the chord sheet, knowing the song a little bit in advance really helps too. Let's go for that a little bit more up to tempo. So I'm gonna go 100 BPM now, which should be, feel a lot better once you've got the vibe of it. Again, D to G repeats uh, four times, hang on, one, two, three, four times, and then we've got that A chord after it. But boot heels to be wondering is the lyric to listen out for, for when we get to that Asus 4. Let's give it a go together. If you're really struggling, single strums on the first beat of the bar. Take me for a trip upon my magic. Like that. Okie dokie. And then you, you try on the beat, and then you try with this strumming pattern. That's the way around to get any song you want to learn. Just simplify the strumming, and then add it. Join once per bar, once on the beat, and then the strumming pattern that you're going for. Okay, verses, and then we'll go for the intro and then full playthrough. From the G, in. One, two, three, four. Take me on a trip upon your magic swirling ship. All my senses have been stripped and my hands can't feel to grip. And my toes too numb to step Wait only for my boot heels to be wandering A major and then a sus four I'm ready to go anywhere I'm ready for to fade Into my own parade Cast your dancing spell my way I promise to go under it And then we're back to the chorus Hey, Nesta Tambourine Man Play a song for me I'm not sleepy And there ain't no place I'm going to So hopefully that's something you can jam along to. If any of you guys are interested in improving your singing, which I'm always trying to do, I'm no, I am not the best singer at all. We do have uh, two singing courses available at andyguitar.co.uk. One by Elizabeth Shiroff, uh, who is the charismatic voice on YouTube. She did a fabulous singing course for us, which goes to really high level. If you want to really improve your voice, that's the one to go for, for all the bully professional like high level pro tips. And then it's just as an introduction and maybe more a performance link, like how to get to a stage where you could do open mic nights. We have another one by a singer songwriter called Hannah Dorman. That's been really useful for me. She gave some great tips in there. I do want to do some videos on this myself, but I've got people that are far more qualified to do such things from the training they've had, from the experience they've got. Yeah, really proud to offer those courses. Check them out if you're not aware of them. andyguitar.co.uk and just check out the courses we have there. Let's have a look at this intro lead line, which also finishes the song as well. So we have... That is played on a 12 string, which gives the sound of the song. It kind of sounds an octave up. You could just try and play it an octave up, but this is where I believe it's played on the original. A, gr a great way to play it to keep it beginner friendly as well, because it's just down this side of the neck. It's purely using the open string, the second fret and fret four on the middle two strings. So from D in order, that is a D major scale, the first six notes. One, two, three, four, five, six and then back down. You want to make sure you can do that before you have a go at this lead line so that you're aware of like the notes that are happening underneath it. This goes and we'll have the um, 
vision on, on screen now to really help you guys to be able to play this. So this goes. Paying attention to the picking, so that is uh, using alternate picking at the start. Alternate picking all the way through, I, I would recommend. So down, up, and just picking kind of out rather than down and up picks, really. I'm actually resting my uh, wrist of my hand on the thicker strings the whole time. Let's have a go at this one more time with those chords on screen, and that should be hopefully enough for most of you to be able to play this. One, two, three, four. And then we would start into the chorus from there. Let's go for a full play along of this now. 100 BPM, so we're, I think it's about 122 the original recording, but this should make it quite a bit more doable, but still up to tempo. I'm gonna be playing that intro, play along if you can. If you struggle with any of the strumming, single strums, and then on the beat, and then try the strumming pattern as, as a couple of attempts. But as I say, if you like this kind of thing where we're going the full nine yards with this song, let me know what other songs you would like this to be done on, and uh, I will do them for you. It'd be loads of fun. From the intro, picking in one, two, three, four. And chorus. Hey. of that in the comments below. Any other questions you have, let me know down there as well. And I'll leave a couple of other videos on screen now that I think you might enjoy.